What's going on everybody? Mattitude22 here today with another figure review. So today we're taking a trip back in time and we are going to check out the DC Universe Classics Wonder Woman figure from Wave 4. So I think uh, I think this looks pretty cool. It's like I think a great classic Wonder Woman. But looking at the packaging, it says DC Universe on the top with that kind of older logo. Yeah. I don't think the new logo is as good as that one. On the bottom, it says a character's name. Wave 4, figure number 1. On the back, it shows you the other assortment. I already reviewed the Ares. If you have not checked out that video, definitely check it out because that is a good figure. A little, bi oops, a little biography there. If you want to read that, you can pause this video now. Let me make that more. There you go. Pause it now. So yeah, other other figures in the assortment. All right, so we're gonna take a quick quick break, be like a one second break for you guys. We're gonna get this figure out of the box. So bear with me. All right, so looking at this figure out of the package, I think she's pretty nice. A pretty nice, uh, classic Wonder Woman. It, it's not great. Don't don't get me wrong. It's not great to any degree. But I don't think it's as bad. I think the DCUC line takes a lot of slack. But I know the figure structurally, or structure, structurally, it's pretty late, guys. It's a hard word to say right now. But in a sense, from an articulation standpoint, the figures are not great. And there's some kind of issues in the sculpts and stuff. But I do think they represent a classic DC universe. And... I pretty much buy most of the DC stuff, like the Icon, I buy all like the TV stuff, I buy the animated stuff. Not everything, but a lot of it. But these, I just really like these. Because they just really represent a DC universe that has come and gone. But I don't want to spend too much time on that. You guys don't want to hear me ramble on about that. Unless you do. If you do, leave me a comment. Tell me you want to hear me ramble. Tell me if you don't. Whatever. Looking at her face, she looks pretty nice. I gotta say, I don't think they did a terrible job with this face sculpt. I don't know if they did a... Again, I don't know if they did a great job, but I don't think they did a horrible job. She definitely looks pretty good, and the hair looks okay. Not much to it. It's pretty much just all black. The star on the tiara is painted. Painted? Oh, sorry, guys. Again, very late. It is painted really nice. There's no kind of bleeding or rubbing off. So that looks pretty good. I think for her bathing suit attire, again, I think it looks pretty nice. There's no really blue running off on the legs. All the stars are looking pretty good. Same thing here. No gold bleeding off onto the red or nothing like that. So I think they did a pretty good job with the paint. For the bracelets, I wish they were a bit longer. Like, I wish they had come up to here and, like, you know, maybe they would, could have painted a little star on there. Would have been a nice little touch. It would have brought this figure out a little more. This figure is older. Uh, so I don't know if the lasso is supposed to be removable. I just really don't want to start pulling at it and ripping it. I don't know if the lasso is supposed to be removable. I, removable. I don't think it is, so for the sake of that, I'm just going to leave that there. Boots look pretty good. Again, no issues with the paint. There, no no red is bleeding off onto the white, or there's no, nothing like that. So I do think that looks pretty good. There was a little issue I noticed, but I'm having a hard time remembering where it was. There was an issue where some of the paint was rubbing off. Oh, right there it's really really hard to see but you could see there's some red starting to bleed through the gold can, can you see that it's really hard to see so not a big issue but it is something i thought i would mention it articulation the head moves side to side looks down pretty good but it doesn't stay looking down you see it just kind of bounces back up doesn't really look up ball peg for the shoulders and they move out Move forward this far so you can get a good pose with her kind of deflecting some bullets. You won't have any issues there. And it moves pretty far back, so even that is pretty great. 
She does have a swivel at the shoulder, single jointed elbow, wrist rotation. This was before wrist hinge was a thing, I do believe. She has a ab crunch, which doesn't look back too much, but it looks down pretty decent. But it could have been a little more, but I guess you gotta guess what you take what you can get. DCUC Gabin crotch pin. Upper leg rotation, single jointed knee, and the ankles ro not rotate. Uh, they hinge back and forth, and she does not have ankle rockers. For accessories, she comes with this shield, and I think that's pretty nice. It's kind of mold. It's kind of a golden piece of plastic with some nice silver stars. I think that looks pretty good. And to get her to hold the shield is pretty cool. All you have to do is. Take this little piece and you just kind of put it on her wrist like that. And then you just kind of peg it on. You just have to figure out how it goes. Well, I, I failed that and uh, I failed that on camera. So there's that. Well, that's gone now. But that's all you have to do. You will probably do a better job at that than I did. Axe, I can't remember when I've ever seen her use an axe like this, but it is pretty cool. Kind of looks like the one that we got with Ares. Again, same gold plastic silver handle. And get out of here, makeup bag. There you go. She holds that pretty good. So no issue there. So overall, I think this is a good figure. Again, I like the DCUCs. I think they take a lot of slack. But I do got to say, I like this figure. I say you should pick her up. Great companion piece to go with the Ares or if you're building a classic Justice League. Definitely. So definitely, I say pick this figure up. Thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget, like this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment, tell me what you think of the figure or what you think of the video. Don't forget, subscribe. When you do subscribe, you leave me a comment, you tell me that you subscribe. I'll subscribe to your channel. Well, that's all there is to it. Thank you guys again for watching. I love the support. I always appreciate it. And I'll be back later. Not later tonight, but later in the week with some more figure reviews. Thanks guys for watching.